in today's video I'm going to be discussing the Venus Jupiter conjunction which happens on the Sagittarius full moon on the 23rd of May 2024 and this is for all 12 signs of the zodiac but it's mainly about the Venus Jupiter conjunction. Let's get right into it. So Please go and watch my video on the full moon, May full moon in Sagittarius, which I've just done, because that will give you a really personalised in-depth reading as to all the planets um, and your own personal forecast for this full moon. However, I really, really, really wanted to touch on what Jupiter-Venus conjunction represents at this time and what kind of energy we're dealing with so jupiter and venus conjunct once every year and this year they're in the sign of taurus and i love this energy so jupiter is the great benefic planet it's a planet which brings good fortunes and prosperity yes it can be a little bit extra at times in certain signs but in the sign of taurus it is the earth mother, it is the great benefactor of our material experience on this planet. It brings joy and growth and abundance to all life. It is very earthed and grounded and through that abundance, we, um, the roots and the shoots spring up from the foundations of the earth with Jupiter in this sign. So we can manifest our dreams into reality so quickly when Jupiter is in Taurus and we can really create an abundance of money, of um, growth, of love, of sensory experience and for those of us who are you know experiencing difficulties in the world right now there is a sense that there is hope to rebuild and that's what we can all focus on you know there is this sense of hope with jupiter in this sign that we can heal we can heal the earth and we can heal each other through practical means through effective manifestation so I really like jupiter in taurus and it's been in taurus this year and until i think it moves out of taurus into gemini um, just after this full moon actually so we are going to be we're going to have this conjunction at 29 degrees Jupiter in the sign of Taurus and 28 degrees Venus in the sign of Taurus so Venus what does Venus represent represent well Venus represents love money beauty finances how we spend our money how we make our money our love language our material expressions so the first house and our ascendant rules a lot of how we look um but Venus can really Venus is the styling behind how we look Venus is like how we match that and what kind of fabrics we wear and how we um how we how we put the the top in the icing the icing on the cake okay it's our decoration and i love venus my venus is in pisces and i feel my venus um is a very very big expressive part of myself and i'm sure it is for you as well so if you don't know your venus placement go and check out your birth chart and find out where it is because Venus really can radiate, you know, your love language. And so when we have Venus in Taurus, our love language becomes very practical. It becomes very sensory. We want to be touched. We want to smell. We want to taste. We want to feel things. We want to see things. We want beautiful things around us. We want fabrics. We want um, trees and nature and aesthetically pleasing things and um, we want to hang out at the sexiest parties and or you know get down to some really good gardening and so it's all about us being present as souls in our physical experience that is what Venus in Taurus is about so what happens when we mix these two 
Jupiter, oh, by the way, Venus is also a benefic planet. So tr in traditional Hellenistic astrology, Venus brings really a lot of benefits, as does Jupiter. So Venus is the lesser benefic planet and Jupiter is the great benefic planet. And both bring incredible good fortune and opportunities to us. And so here we have this conjunction between the two in the earthy sign of Taurus, which is giving us the ability to experience love, abundance, financial abundance, maybe spend money to get money back, um, create things, plant seeds, watch our seeds grow, turn our abundance into good fortune, not just for us, but to heal the earth, to heal our environment, to fix our environment. For many of us, we're going to be fixing up our homes. We're going to be fixing up ourselves. We might be changing, you know, our appearance or somewhat or thinking about changing our appearance um, and playing with our identity, playing with our style. We are expressing our love in tangible, expansive ways. Now, one might say is it could be a bit of a rose tinted time at this time and at this point with the full moon in Sagittarius and we can get let get lost in a dream but we're allowed like that's fine astrology is like the weather it changes all the time this is a point of beauty and abundance and growth and it's okay to get lost in love. It's okay to indulge in those things. And this very rare Venus con Venus Jupiter conjunction is saying just go for it, man. Just go for it. Just like feel the love, like feel the happening, feel the love. And when we create that whirlpool of abundance, when we allow and don't block and don't resist and just lose ourselves in those moments of joy it it isn't just for the moment yes we do come back down to earth but it puts us in a new paradigm it put it shifts our perspective and it shifts our dimension and therefore it shifts our stories and guess what it becomes much more positive so we can radiate easier even when the astrology changes over the next month and we maybe come back down to earth, we could still hold on to that vibration and utilise it to practical effect because that is what Taurus is about. It's about practicalities. If you're not keeping your affirmation diary or if you're not doing daily meditation, daily affirmation, and it can be something as simple as I'm going to have a good day today. It doesn't have to be complicated. The law of attraction is not complicated. Um, you know, getting on that carousel of positive thought is not complicated. I do it all the time. I have a ritual coffee every morning, which many millions and millions of us do every morning, wherever you get that coffee from, and just make that your feel good moment, as I do. Um, and particularly in this sign of Venus, of Taurus, it just gives us a chance. It just gives us a chance to like capture that energy. So one thing that I love to do, and I'm definitely going to do this this week leading up to this full moon is, or maybe even on the full moon, is sometimes I like to plant seeds for a purpose and watch them grow. And as I watch them grow, I can feel the abundance of that intention coming to me. So um, if that's something that you have never done before, it's actually there's actually an article available on my Patreon about it. Um, and I will post some stuff on my Instagram as well. So you can go over there and have a look if you wish to um, about how to do that. Um, and I'll leave some comments below as well about how to do that um, once I've uploaded the video. So, <clears throat> Venus, Jupiter, in Taurus, get manifesting, get growing, get creating abundance, get having, you know, your friends, your social environments popping, um, create a sense of joy for yourself, 
primarily for yourself, not for anybody else. Don't people please. Make it about you. People will people will come towards you because Taurus is not a lonely sign. They like being alone, but I think there's going to be room for a lot of romance and a lot of togetherness during this Sagittarius moon. Um, given that Sagittarius is also a very social sign, of course, the fact that we have this beautiful illuminated full moon also happening um, is just amplifying all the other planets, and amplifying all this energy of love and abundance. So let's get into all 12 signs. I wasn't going to do 12 signs, but I was like... I'll give the people what they want. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm doing the 12 signs now. Okay, so we have um, Aries for you. This is the this conjunction is happening in your second house. So this is all about like aligning with your finances and um, creating more abundance for yourself. So amazing time for you to actually do some manifestation work on creating abundance. Also, if you like to garden, or you like to plant trees or you like to do charitable work which involves community gardens or anything to do with the earth supporting the earth supporting mother nature this is an ideal time for you to be out and doing that Taurus this is happening in your first house for you this is all about expansion of the self and beauty and beautifying yourself and feeling more expressive and wanting to be out in public more and seen more and have more conversations and be open-hearted and you really are open-hearted at this time and it's a beautiful full moon for socializing for you um and a beautiful jupiter venus conjunction for socializing so gemini this is happening in your 12th house this is a brilliant time for retreats, Gemini. This is a great time to hide away, to have some seclusion. Moments of um, like very pro like um, booking a hotel and going off and having a secret retreat with your partner. That's a great. It's a great time to do that. Um, date nights, romance, self care, self rituals, maybe. A meditation retreat spending time in like an ashram something like that but it's all about love and growth and togetherness and abundance and I think you're going to feel super super romantic super switched on if you don't have a partner um then you know make it about self-care um and if you are you do have a partner but you know you're not um able to connect with them um well you are going to be connecting with them in some way at this time even if it's not a physical connection you know if they're separate from you it seems very internalized as well this energy and you are growing with love inside for sure your heart feels big at this time okay for cancerians this is happening in the 11th house lucky you because this is about socializing and friends this is really where your feeling very expansive in being with people who you choose to spend time with because you really like them and you can't really argue with that great time for spending time with family extended family friends parties garden parties um maybe traveling as well so the 11th house can rule long distance traveling so um love in foreign countries is possible at this time um or finding a place that you love you know even if it's not abroad it's something that feels different it's something that feels exotic that you've never been to before um so i really like this energy for you Leos, this is happening for you in your 10th house. So this is an expansion of Korea. You are seen, you are, you're worshipped, Leos. Like you love feeling worshipped. And here you are with Jupiter in the 10th house, conjunct Venus, saying, look at me, I am radiating outwards. So if you are a musician or an artist, um, this is 
a fantastic time to play a gig. This is a fantastic time to be noticed for your talent, for what you're putting out into the world, for the energy that you're creating and manifesting. Ideal for you. Um, in business, it's a great time for partnerships. It's a great time for amplifying, for um, advertising, for getting out there and showing the people what you have and what you are capable of awesome love this for you cancerians oh hang on have i messed up um no virgos yeah virgos i wrote the wrong symbol down on my oh, um dodgy notes um virgos this is an awesome time for you this is happening in your ninth house Virgos, what do you love to do, really? You love to research things. You love to learn things. Um, you love philosophy and, um, yeah, expressing that wisdom and knowledge to others as well. So this is a really amazing opportunity for you to grow and develop in the area of learning and teaching. You could create some real abundance with um, your beliefs as well and self-beliefs and really feel like lit up about your, how you see yourself, what your lo love language is, um, how you express that love language, um, what you want to what you want to expand on, like the physical manifested material things that you want to expand on. Do not be surprised if you really want to indulge in purchasing something which makes you feel good and maybe you can grow from. So I'm imagining I've got a Virgo moon and I'm also imagining one of my friends who is has a lot of Virgo placements and she's a tarot reader as well and i can imagine both of us being wanting to indulge in maybe a new tarot deck or some like occult literature or something which brings us learning and education but a lot of pleasure as well so yeah lucky you virgos i like this for you because it's helping you to change your mind and virgos you're very black and white about stuff sometimes and this benefic conjunction in your ninth house is just helping you to be a little bit softer about things and that can be a wonderful time to allow you to shift some blockages which you've had okay libra this is in your eighth house this is very very transformational the eighth house rules magic it rules sex it rules taboos um, so you are feeling sexy, you are wanting to experience those feelings in a very expansive, tangible way, you are feeling fired up, um, it's about death and rebirth, so the rebirth of Venus and Jupiter is like this fiery, earthy, um, like, you know, I suppose like a phoenix energy it's like you know really wanting to transform you're wanting to grow and again awesome energy for you it gives you the opportunity to to have a rebirth it is it's your opportunity to start again it's your opportunity to um reinvent something about yourself and i like this energy I like this energy for you, especially if you get down with your sexuality at this time and magic as well. It's a wonderful, wonderful time for those of you who practice manifestation or any sort of willpower, engagement, any sort of magic. Really good time to invest in that. And then we have um, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is in the seventh house. This is all about love for you, Scorpios. You are going to feel so romantic and fired up and loved and in love and abundant and just wanting to be very expressive. You might get lost in a bit of romance or a bit of creativity. Um, that's, again, fine. Like, we deserve that. <laughs> we really deserve that people you know especially astrologers 
they bang on and on and on about like rose tinted glasses and you know you have to be careful not to get lost in the dream blah 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 right i'm very i'm very pisces and i'm quite happy to be continually lost in a dream because life is short we want to have fun let's just indulge in it let your hair down a little bit scorpios don't be so serious get romantic have fun with the people that you want to spend time with because it's going to bring you lots of joy. Okay, um, Sagis, this is happening for you in the sixth house. So this is about the expansion and joy in your daily routines. You might be getting a new pet. Could be a great time to look for your forever pet. Um, and it's also great for um, general day-to-day -day work, day-to-day -day routines. You want to have more fun. You want to feel more joy. You want to feel more comfort. Might be a good time to look for a new car or look for a new higher purchase sort of item. Um, uh, definitely, you're going to be wanting your environment to feel good and comfortable and sexy and beautiful. Um, like it always is, Sagis. You like nice things. I know a lot of Sagis and they like plants they really like plants so it's a great time to buy a new forever plant um and yeah just to you know judge up your daily routine experience it's a really good time for your health as well and to find things which improve your health that you really really enjoy so it could be like um you know an eating um, a, like a certain eating pattern that you just really enjoy doing like you know if you have like a ritual you got your ritual smoothie in the morning um, or it can be like a, a sport or an exercise routine that you really really love doing and you just want to do it every day and you're just feeling really fired up and lit up about that um for Capricorns this is in your fifth house so this is like love affairs um romances sports fun having f um you know competi healthy competition doing things with mates socializing and also being having you as the center of that expression so the people will come to you and if they're not coming to you then you will definitely be seen and um wanted and be part of the flow of energy there's also loads of stuff coming up with children as well if you have children or if you are part of any children's lives then this venus jupiter conjunction is very positive for um having a really nice connected energy with children too um aquarius this is in your fourth house so this is about growth and abundance and material success within your personal environment so within your home and your family um I feel like for some Aquarius, maybe I'm channeling this a little bit, but I feel like for some of you Aquarius watching this video, there's going to be announcements of engagements or pregnancies within the family. And that's like a really beautiful, abundant energy. Um, and for, um, for most of you, this is like you're wanting to expand on your home. You're wanting to uh, maybe improve your home or tidy your home and it looks really nice have garden parties you're wanting to garden as well and make your outside environment look really beautiful um with it you know these two con this conjunction being in um taurus for you you know it's it's all about creating that community creating that environment to host your community because that's what you love to do aquarians you love to create community um pisces this is happening for you in your third house there is so much to the third house so this is all about um your neighbors the people who you see on a daily basis tradespeople, your coffee shops your local pubs your local bars so you are wanting to be out and about you are going to be a <laughs> i nearly said coffee shop crusader <laughs> is that a thing i feel like that should be a t-shirt i'm gonna make that into a t-shirt um but you know like a uh, um coffee shop hopping um if you can maybe do a short break as well or you want to go to a different city that would be a brilliant time to do that um although 
really with the third house what you're looking at is your local community so you're probably more likely to be putting energy and money and abundance back into your local community so this is a brilliant time for again coffee shop hopping around your local community um interactions with neighbors are going to be quite positive at this time and abundant as well so it's a really good time for like garden parties um barbecues things like that um yeah and maybe siblings as well it's a good time for you to be spending time with siblings um if you had a, if you have any siblings which um normally you don't um interact with so much or there's not such a positive connection this is a really good time to realign with them and um uh create abundance and unity within your um local environment and your local community brilliant for community projects for um yeah anything to do with humanitarian work anything to do with like local putting energy into the local environment so a really good example of this for you pisces would be to um hang out in your local community garden and maybe do some volunteer work um that would be that would lead to more abundance for you in the future so i hope you've enjoyed that i'm going to post this as soon as possible um um please go and watch the sagittarius full moon video because that will give you a much more in-depth personalized reading for you but this is how to use this particular jupiter sagittarius conjunction um remember if you are if you're still here thank you um so remember um your rising sign is the most important then your moon then your sun sign then your moon sign um and please go ahead and like this video share and subscribe the, to my channel um it really helps me to grow everything that I'm doing um, and I'm really really enjoying making these videos um, for us all you know always including myself because um, this is a point of learning for me and it's my weather forecast astrological weather forecast too um, and let me know what you are doing um, if you're doing anything more for the full moon or you're going to be working on this Venus Venus jupiter conjunction if you are manifesting anything you don't have to tell me what you're manifesting but just let me know if you are um and maybe put an emoji um below uh let's do a plant emoji because um you know it's very taurusy um this jupiter venus conjunction and i will see you in the next video bye for now